Hey guys, so in this week's video I decided to, to try out the Sony kit lens with a bit of landscape photography. So this is the kit lens I got with my originally got with my Sony A7 Mark II. It's a 28 to 70 mm lens. So it's fairly versatile. You can get reasonably wide, not not as wide as a like dedicated sort of landscapey kind of lens, but the 28 is wide enough where you can get a reasonably sort of good panoramic views in a landscape and you can zoom into the 70 to, to compress those scenes when you need to and bring the scaling into it slightly differently. So I just uh, out for a walk one evening around the Port Hills around Christchurch. I'm just trying to get some different shots around here. So this first shot I did zoom in a fair bit uh, close to the 70 millimeter mark just to compress the scene. You can see a little bit of uh, water in this bay here. This is Parua Bay. I've actually got another video where I've I'm down there taking some shots if you want to take a look at that one. But the main idea of that one is to catch a little bit of the, the path in the foreground here. You can see it on the bottom left. It sort of gives, it tries to give it a little bit of scale. Otherwise it would be, be slightly difficult to sort of size up things in the frame. So it's a, it's a nice path al along here and you get some nice panoramic views up either sides of the hills. But as I'm just coming around this corner, this I found that it's quite an interesting view here. Just as the path is coming down the hill a bit more and you get some rockiness and quite vivid shadows, slightly darker shadows compared to the previous piece of the path. And I'm just thinking, oh, well, how can I use this as part of my composition? So I went for a landscape composition first and then I decided I'll go for a portrait just to catch more of the path there, get a little bit more of the foreground. And this is a reasonably wide focal length here. And I'm, again, I'm trying to use the path as a leading line up and I've actually adjusted myself slightly right of the path as I'm trying to get a slightly better view out into the ocean a little bit more. So it didn't make it, it's not like a huge uh, difference in the perspective. So this uh, vantage point here is a big sheer cliff face I'm right at the top of, but you get some great panoramic views up here. And so this first shot I spotted, it was a similar shot to the, pre, to the first photo in this video where I'm trying to get a, a good shot of this piece of water that you can just see between the hills there. And for this one, the light is beginning to get slightly lower in the sky, still, still not drastically low, but you do get some slightly longer shadows and a little bit more color coming in. And I thought I would try and use the hill in the foreground to get a slightly different perspective as the hill would come across it more. So as you can see, there's a little path here in the foreground, and I tried to use that to help give the viewer a scale of the image a bit more. When I was originally taking the shot, I was hovering more around the 70 millimeter focal length and I was trying to compress the little village you can see on the right of the bay there and get the water, but it wasn't enough to see the outline of the houses and give a idea of scale. So then I decided to zoom out more, more towards the 28 millimeter length and, and include this little path right in the foreground here. It's just a little thing that you might not necessarily concentrate on as a viewer but it just helps guide a viewer to it just helps place things a bit nicer in the composition this one's in this exact same spot I'm just looking slightly more over to the right and you can see the town of Littleton here it's a harbour town you can see a lot of ships there and a bit of yachting but it's a great panoramic shot again where because I'm right on the cliff face it's a nice open view that I can get nothing obstructing my view in the foreground so I'm trying to get a nice wide view here. I'm hovering more around the 28 millimeter focal length with this lens and you can see that facing this direction I get a nice view of the sun. It's a little bit too high in the sky for my liking for a sort of more dramatic landscape shot but again it's more about testing out different focal lengths and spotting see if you can see something interesting just playing around with the lens. As you can see now I'm getting much more yellowy light in the air as the sun's starting to dip a bit lower towards sunset. So I'm starting to look around, like, where's the light changing? Is there bigger shadows, longer shadows? Is there sort of a nice bright spot of yellow light coming through at certain areas of the landscape? So these are things I'm sort of thinking through as the overall composition is very sim similar to the previous few shots. It's still looking towards Littleton, the, the harbor town, but I've now walked further over to the left so we get a slightly different perspective but overall the image is more or less similar so I'm more looking to see what the light is doing to give me an idea. 
Now this shot here is in the exact same spot, I've just turned right around and I'm facing the hills now. As I spotted, as I'm looking around, I'm looking how the light's changing and I can see now that the ridges of each of these hills here, is the light's just catching right on the tips of them and it's getting nice lines along it and a nice deep shadow in the valleys there. So again, I try to get a nice portrait orientation shot, I'm trying to get some of the path that I'm standing on. It helps guide the eye up towards the hills there and it's a nice dramatic hills as the light's starting to get a bit lower in the sky. So again, this light's getting even lower in the sky, so you get some really dramatic lighting happening. Now, in general, with landscape shots, you're not going to get a drastic change in your composition if you're up in the hills, say, because if you decide to walk, say, 15 or 20 minutes, your view is going to be fairly similar, more or less. So the sun's now dipping really close to the mountains now. You get some really dramatic shadows and some really colorful light. Now in general when I'm out taking landscape shots, especially out in the hills like this, your composition isn't going to change drastically. As you can tell I'm taking shots more or less in the same direction and even if I decide to walk half an hour up the other direction, my view is going to be more or less the same with some slight differences. So I'm, when I'm out in a situation like this I'm more looking at how the light's changing and spotting oh where's there some nice long shadows happening or where's the light catching it slightly differently and highlighting an area a bit nicer or maybe if there's if it's a cloudy or if there's a bit more clouds in the sky it might be some more vivid colors happening in certain areas and trying to position my composition to sort of take advantage of that and another thing you can try and do in landscape shots is trying to see if you can change your foreground subjects so in this example I don't have a great deal of interest that I can change in the foreground so it's mainly concentrating on the light and how can I, I adjust my composition to take advantage of that. So in this shot particularly, I'm still messing around with the focal length and seeing what if things click or if it's not bringing up a good highlight in the, how the light's dropping down on the hills there. So I did end up taking a shot more focusing on the hill on the left side here. So I could see that light was really catching it really nicely and you can see it's like picking up those trees nicely and you can see a nice ridge where the shadow drops on the other side of the hill and then the the town itself is slightly more towards the background it's not quite the background yet but it's more you're moving your eye from the bottom left towards the top right as a general composition as your eyes drawn towards the Sun eventually as you're looking at the scene so that's the type of thing where try and think about how the lights changing and you can use it to guide you your viewers eye when you're taking your photos so I hope you like this week's video guys I appreciate it if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're not already thanks 